Okay, well, let's see. I don't know what the answer is, but let's see if we can figure it out right now live. I see that in the terms of the coefficient department, I can pull out a 3 everywhere, but no more. I can pull an a out everywhere, but no more, because there's only one a here. And here I can pull out, pull out a b squared, but I can't pull out a b cubed, because I don't have enough here. So it looks like that 3a b squared is, in fact, the greatest common factor. And if I factor that out, what am I left with? Well, let's see, what am I left with here? Well, it looks like I'm left with nothing here. So maybe I should write 0. Maybe I should write 0 there. Well, that wouldn't work, because if I distribute, this thing times 0 would give me 0, and I'd lose that term. So what should I write in here? Well, what I should write in here, of course, is the invisible 1 that's always everywhere you go, always behind you, is an invisible 1. So in fact, there's a 1 factor here. Maybe I can write it out right in front here. And that 1 factor would still remain. And notice now, when I take this and multiply by 1, I happily get this. So remember, don't put a 0. Always put a 1 if you take out everything. But now here, I don't take out everything. I have a negative 2. And I need an extra a to top off the a squared. And I need an extra b. So in fact, you can check this by taking this and multiplying it through by the 1. You get this. Multiplying this through by this, I'd see a 6 minus 6 a squared b cubed. This is a great technique when every single monomial has a common factor. Always pull out the common factors first. Even if you have to do more factoring later in life, always start by seeing if you can pull out a common factor. It's the easiest thing to do and has the power to actually make the problem easier. We'll see other techniques if you want, if you dare. <laughs>